magnitude 3.8 quake, 3.5, 3.3, and a swarm of about 10 quakes in just the past hour. This is east of Long Valley Caldera after the 6.5 that we had a few days ago and then the 5.3 that we had two days ago. And we'll take a look at the map of where exactly this is. We know that it's uh, near the Walker Lane, it's on the Walker Lane fault system. It's an area of the mantle plume going through the west. It's a mantle plume going from Baja California with a branch, it's like a Y with the western branch going through Santa, under San Andreas Fault and Walker Lane Fault System. This is Long Valley here, all these uh, craters that you see there. And also the eastern part going through Salt Lake up to uh, Yellowstone and making a right turn towards Idaho. As you can see here on the left hand side, that magma is between Yellowstone and the west coast. That's Idaho right there, quite shallow as well. And it comes from Baja. This is the general area of the quake storm that we had since the and the shake out. As we know, it, it has shaken Long Valley. Long Valley is where you have that uh, lake towards the left-hand side. That's Mono Lake of Long Valley Caldera. And uh, let's take a look at the map so we can see what's happening. Okay, this is the general area of the 6.5, but they don't. They take them off. This was the 5.3. Uh, again, they're all shallow. This is about seven kilometers depth, and uh, the uh, let's take a look at the shake map of it. As you can see, this is a 5.3 quake that we had on the 22nd of May, a couple of days ago, and this is Mono Lake of Long Valley Caldera right here. And um, if we pan out a little bit, you can see where Salt Lake is. This is Salt Lake right here. Uh, this is uh, Yellowstone Lake. Where is it? Okay, a little bit for it's gone. Sorry about that. Okay. Where's Yellowstone? There's Yellowstone Lake. Okay, and that's uh, Hebgen Lake right there. And this is the Idaho craters of the Moon Idaho. So this is the Boise Idaho area that we had the quake swarms and in Idaho, and that we had the six point five on March thirty first. The um, Salt Lake City quakes on March 18, and we still have um, areas here, the swarms are still ongoing. The uh, Salt Lake City, this fault line here, this ridge here, has eight volcanoes here, south of Salt Lake City, eight volcanoes, and Idaho here, uh, west of Yellowstone, which is Yellowstone Lake right there, has nine volcanoes here, west, okay? This area of that 6.5 of March 31st is about 190 miles west of Yellowstone. So that's the area of the mantle plume that we saw going from uh, Baja California towards the west here, San Andreas and Walker Lane Fault System. And we know that uh, Yellow, Long Valley Caldera is a super volcano on the Walker Lane Fault System. It's a very high threat volcano. It's deforming, it's inflating. And uh, also, the west, the eastern part goes this way, that mantle plume going through Salt Lake right here, up to Yellowstone right there, and then Craters of the Moon over here in Idaho. Okay, that's that imaginary seven that we saw there before. Okay, so let's go towards, this. these are only the, six, the two point, above 2.5 magnitude, but let's load them all so you can see what's happening. And you can see that uh, there's been about 10 quakes in the past hour, from 3.8, 3.5, 3 3.3. These are the past hour. Okay. The blue are the past day. And you can see there's hundreds of earthquakes there. Hundreds of earthquakes. So this is a new area that is, uh, that's Mono Lake right there. This is basically the, this is all Long Valley Caldera. Long Valley, all this is Long Valley Caldera. Just because we have it, in Nevada does not mean it's not Long Valley Caldera. Okay, this is it right here. That's it right here. Let's go to Long Valley Caldera. Uh, this is it right here. Okay. And uh, basically where we have the legend here is where Nevada border is. Right there. Okay. Right there, the legend in Nevada border. Right there. This is our uh, seismicity right there. And um, 
Long Rally Caldera, large 17 by 32 kilometer caldera east of Central Sierra Nevada Range, California, result of a giant explosive eruption that happened 760,000 years ago, then formed the widespread and voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor, floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. It also has a geothermal plant, by the way. In order to better study the caldera, the Long Valley Observatory has been established there. It says in the background, following the Bishop Tuff eruption of formation of Long Valley caldera 760,000 years ago, activity continued the central part of the caldera to form a lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. Later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. The younger Inyo craters overlap the caldera on the northwest, but are chemically and tectonically, tectonically distinct from the Long Valley magmatic system. Here are some pictures of it. Cinder cones and turquoise water from along a small valley of fumaroles, uh, path down the volcanic dikes. As you can see, the dikes cutting through sedimentary rock and Crater Lake, close to the lake, and uh, national parks that they have here. Geologic Mac Long Valley Caldera, that's Mono Lake, okay, Mammoth Lakes, and uh, the Owens Valley area. Let's go back to our. Uh, that's it, that's it around here, Yuan's Valley, and this goes towards Ridgecrest. This is Ridgecrest right there. Okay, that's a beautiful lava field right there. You can see that uh, just north of Ridgecrest. That's, that's lava right there. So, yeah, it's a cause of volcanic field. And then Ridgecrest, as we know, also has geothermal plant in Lava Lake. Uh, China Lake, that's Volcano Peak, as you can see there. And that is beautiful lava flow. Look at that, isn't that something? Look at this right here. Amazing. Amazing. More there, as you can see. That, and that's uh, Volcano Peak, and you can see the the, cra the craters that they have. Isn't that, look at that. Craters there. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, that's just south of... Uh, about 150 some odd miles south of Long Valley. And um, that's Owens Valley right there. They have lakes there as well, lake systems. Where are we? It's panning out. Here we are, Long Valley right there. Owens Valley right there. So this is the area of our seismic activity. And we know that that has, of course, as we saw before in the map, the mantle plume going under there. So all of you there, please be very careful. Okay, let's go. It's going to pan out a little bit here so we can see the activity. Okay, that's another one there in Nevada as well, 3.5, shallow. And um, Sacramento has some quakes as well today. And Idaho swarms, as we know, they're still going on. And they have uh, said that they expect uh, that goes off like clockwork. And in about a thousand years, they expect a 7.5 plus earthquake there. Um, it goes off about every 3,000 years. So uh, the uh, it's not imminent, but... Uh, Obviously, we've had a 6.5 magnitude quake there. It's not small. And um, we have had Mike uh, Poland, the geologist in charge for Yellowstone, has said that, that they don't expect that to affect Yellowstone except for the hydrothermal plumbing systems underneath. It may have some changes in the geyser activity and uh, either less or more or some kind of changes in the underground water systems there because it has shaken. That 6.5 did shake Yellowstone. 
um, it was felt all the way up to Manitoba. I had a, a viewer from Manitoba, Winnipeg, Manitoba, right here. It's about 700 miles off, so it's, of course, a lot further out than Yellowstone, which is here. Manitoba is all the way up here. So they felt that quake from Idaho 6.5 all the way to Manitoba. As we know, that's very soft sediment there, and um, that's why they probably felt it. So please be careful. Uh, where, what's this? This was the past hour as well, again in Nevada. Oh, yes, and Nevada, Nevada volcanoes I wanted to show you, yeah. Th these are all the, the volcanoes. Uh, I think there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight volcanoes. Um, as we said before, um, let's go back. Utah, Utah has eight south of Salt Lake City. And then we have another nine here, Boise. So as you can see, this whole thing is a ring of volcanoes, this whole area. And that's Yellowstone, of course, up there. So that's the situation there. It's active. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.